Hi guys, and welcome to part 39 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing on two great mods that make playing Skyrim just a little easier and a lot more enjoyable. Now, the first mod I'm going to show you is a very useful mod indeed, and it is called More Hotkeys Please. Um, now, it's a beta mod, so it's very much in development, but it is already exceptionally useful and has a lot of really great options. Now, obviously, what this mod does is gives you the option to have a lot more hotkeys. It actually lets you assign hotkeys for just about every key you have. There are some exceptions, like the W, S, A, and D keys. They are prohibited. Now, that's a problem for me because I don't use those keys for movement, but the mod author is working on it, and he is going to let you select which keys cannot be hotkeyed yourself. So when you first install this mod, you're going to get a power in your, well, in your power section, um, set hotkeys. And when you cast that, it is going to give you this little message that tells you in five seconds, anything you equip in your right hand um, will then be hotkeyed. So for example, I've done, I've cast the spell. I'm now going to select the candlelight spell and put it in my right hand. So candlelight is now in my right hand. And in a few seconds, I get this message. Now, this first of all allows you to do basic hotkeys. So for example, let's start with that. We'll hit the basic. And I'm gonna say I want this in both hands. So as you can see, it can select which hand gets the spell, even though it had to start in my right hand. So you can get it so it hotkeys for the right or the left or both. Now I'm gonna do both. You can also tell it to equip, and that is very similar to your existing um, your existing hotkeys. So I'm going to click on that. Then I get this message. Once I click OK, it will basically ask me to press a key. Um, it's now waiting for me to press a key, so I press it, and the hotkey is now set. Now, if I change my spells completely to something else, I now am going to press my new hotkey. And as you can see, I now have candlelight spell in both hands. But you can actually do a lot more. If I go back to set hotkeys, um, I'm going to once again select candlelight. And the message will come up. And this time I'm going to say press and hold. So instead of just pressing a key, this time I'm going to press and hold the key. So now I'm going to use the same key as I did for um, for the selection of candlelight again, but this time pressing and holding. I want it in both hands again. But this time I want to auto cast and re-equip last. So as you can see, instead of just equipping the spell, I can either auto-cast it once I press it, or auto-cast and re-equip. So now my hotkey is set. So, now if I press this button, there you go, candlelight is selected as before. But this time I'm going to press and hold as I set it up, and then when I release it, it automatically casts and, as you notice, has changed back to the other spell. Now, the only flaw with this at the moment is it doesn't dual cast. Uh, hopefully, that will get fixed. So, uh, But if, you, if it's essential that you dual cast them, the auto is not working very well at the moment. However, I, I can almost guarantee that's probably something that he'll try and fix. As I said, there, there seems to be a lot of activity on this mod. And then, of course, you've got the multiple keys. So if I go to set hotkeys again, and this time I'm going to select the circle of protection spell. And uh, multi-key. And I want it to just the left hand this time, and I only want it to equip, not auto-cast. The first hotkey you wish to set and press to cancel. Press escape to cancel. So press escape cancels this entire process. So first key, and now press the second key. And now my dual hotkeys 
have been set. So if I change, let's change to a, something that's completely different. Right, if I now press either of those hotkeys by themselves, nothing is happening. But if I press both at the same time, there you go. So as you can see, not only does it expand the number of hotkeys you have, it allows you to actually use the same hotkeys that are close to your fingers in different combinations. So if you press a hotkey by itself, it does one thing. If you press and hold, it does another. If you press it and another, something else happens. So it really does add a lot more options. But that is not all this mod can actually do. You can also set up multiple spells um, to activate using a cycle power. So if you go along to the set cycling key power that's in the power section and cast that, this sets itself up a little differently. And the best way to show you what it does is to actually just set one up. So I'm going to cast the spell and I'm going to add cycle one. So it's, it basically creates a cycle with auto casting to chain cast. Uh, it's, if you're going to do this to cast multiple spells, it's best to use the auto casting. So I'm going to add cycle, and I'm going to do basic because I just want it to be one key press, and I want to auto cast and then move on, right? So I'm going to select auto cast, and now I click OK and select my hot key. So my hot key has now been set, but I've not selected spells yet. Click OK. Now it's giving me five seconds to pick a spell. So I'm going to pick. Iron Flesh. Wait a few seconds. And now I'm going to equip it in my left. Because I'm auto-casting at the moment, dual casting isn't working. I'm just going to stick to left hand. Would you like to add another to the cycle? Yes. I'm going to add oh, Candlelight. It will now ask me again which hand I want to cast that from, and I'm going to cast that from my left. Would I like to add another? Yes. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to wield my bow. And do I want to add another item? No. So I've now finished. So let's just... Go back to a random spell. Now when I press this hotkey, first of all, it casts Iron Flesh, then Candlelight, and finally equips my bow. All at once. So, and you can set up three of these. So if you're the sort of person who's got a lot of buffs, a lot of personal buffs, um, and is fed up of cycling through them all, and you just want to quickly cast them, that is a very useful little feature. Now, there are some things it can't do at the moment. As I said, dual casting seems to be one of them. Um, it doesn't seem to be able to hotkey your shouts and powers, uh, which is, you know, a little unfortunate. However, I think he is working on that. So, basically, this is one of these mods that I think is going to become utterly essential for most people, especially if you have a, a caster type character, because casters end up using a lot of different spells. But all round, this mod, absolutely great idea, really well done. A lot of really useful features. I mean, the cycle feature for me is going to become one of the great features for that mod. Um, it is a beta mod. It's fairly new and it is in development. So, you know, be ready for some, some issues. I've actually had no issues so far. It's behaved itself pretty well. In fact, the only issue I have is actually remembering all my new hotkeys because I've set up so many of them. Uh, so <laughs> that is about it. So give this mod a try. It really is well worth it. Okay, now you're seeing a black screen because there is a spoiler alert. If you have not finished Dawn Guard yet and you do not wish a spoiler, do not watch the next part. Click the link in the top. I believe it will be the right hand corner saying skip to next mod. And that will take you away from here. Okay, hopefully you've done that now. If you're still here, you're going to get a spoiler. Okay, right. So as you can see here, I am now a vampire lord.
which is exceptionally cool. <laughs> I'm really, really loving the look and feel of this. However, one thing I hate is that I cannot loot as a vampire lord, much like the werewolf. However, there is a mod that allows you to do that. And that is what I'm showing you now. If I can, there we go. I can now search this dead person and take their gear. I can actually also look at my own gear. There is... I can't actually wear it, I don't believe. Actually, I can. Uh, however, it doesn't actually make any difference in this form. As you can see. So if I go back to it again. To get on or off, it makes no difference whatsoever. That is very useful indeed. So instead of having to constantly uh, go change form to loot things after you've killed them, you can now loot them. I am told this works for vampires now as well, which makes it useful for... It's not for werewolves, sorry. Which makes it useful for people doing the companion's quest as well. So for me, this tiny little mod is a godsend. Now, installing these mods is pretty simple, but you should note that both of them require SKSE. More hotkeys, please. SKSE Beta being the title. That should be fairly obvious. And to install it, you just literally go along to the file section, download with manager, and activate. Uh, there's very little else to do with that mod. For the other mod, which is called Vampire Lords Can Loot and Activate and Open the Map with Werewolf Now, uh, which may well be the worst named mod of all time. Uh, however, it's a great mod, however badly named. Um, and to do that, again, you need SKSE um, for this to work. At least I believe so, unless that's only for the map and inventory, and it, and it might be. I, I really wasn't totally sure whether the for this SKSE is required applies to the 1.3 update or all of them, but I'm assuming it's required for all of them. Um, go along to the file section. Now, I used this version. This version basically gives you the ability to loot, but you can't view your map. Uh, there is another version that actually allows you to open your map, but it does also allow you to open some other menus you would otherwise not be able to open, so use with discretion. Pick which version you need, download with manager and activate in Nexus Mod Manager. Very, very simple indeed. And as usual, I'm going to finish with some screenshots that you guys have made. If you want to post screenshots for me to put in these videos, you can follow the link I'll put down below to my Skyrim Mod Sanctuary Nexus page and post the images there. Um, you're more than welcome to do that and I will try and post as many as I can each episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If it was, please click the like button. I always appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video, whatever that is. And until then, as always, have fun.